Okay, day before the start of uh, World Champs, um, are you on sailing today? No, I'm not. I sailed in the North Americans, and those three days were pretty tough on my body, so I decided to take the, yesterday and today off. I had planned initially to sail, but no way. Really? I'm tired. Is it tougher, tougher out here than you expected? I think it's as tough as I expected. I'm just, you know, I'm just tired, and, uh, you know, I need, a, I need the rest. Sure. Yeah. Um, now, I heard you're, you're kind of new to this class, right? Uh, 505s? Yes. How does this compare to uh, having done three days of tough sailing um, compared to some of the other classes that you've uh, been involved in? You know, each class is different. I think the uh, 505, the challenge is, is uh, more physical and more, uh, it's more of an athletic uh, situation. Like I feel, I don't feel like I'm strong enough from my waist down. It's a skiff type feel and uh, I'm definitely having a little bit of a hard time with that but basically just physically more demanding and then the other problem I'm having is that I think the boats are definitely hard to make go up with fast and the, the guys that go fast like the, the Mike and Mike show uh, and uh, Howie Hamlin and others that go really fast they just they just know the boats and they are able to just set things up and then go fast and then they're racing. I'm sitting there trying to go fast the whole time and not doing a very good job of it. So it's a uh, it's a hard it's a hard balance to strike. Now you obviously have experience tuning boats. Um, is this is it is it just a fickle boat hard to find that zone or, or what's I the challenge? I'm, I'm just new new to it and it's gonna take it's gonna take time. The 505 does have a lot of adjustments and a lot of variables. So for me, it's going to be a question of trying to, you know, understand everything that we're trying to do and then simplifying things because uh, I like I like simplicity. And, but the boats are are hard. They're difficult, and uh, but they're a lot of fun. One thing that I've found is that you know you can be in the 30s getting hammered and not being very fast and you're still having a really good time cool how about the uh the breeze here it's obviously obviously uh pretty windy as you experience over the last three days how does that compare to what you've been training for um you know, well we don't get enough there? breeze where i'm from and uh we did come here two weeks ago and spend four days uh in a, the warm-up regatta and i think in those four days we flipped over like six or seven times so we had like really really good practice now we, we turned over uh, a couple times during the north americans we're right back up and running in no time tommy my crew tommy is really good about getting on the board i i sort of fall in and grab and retrieve the kite and we're up and running in less than a minute Bad thing to that get that kind of practice, but sure. at least we're fast at it. So do you do you like sailing in the big breeze now that you've uh, had a little bit of practice? I'm telling you, this is more fun than you can imagine, and uh, I just got to figure out a way to sail more in breeze. I have to get in better shape, stronger, and I'm hoping to do that. So you think you've got a, a future in this class? You gonna stick with it? I'm a lifer. I like it. All right. Well, I can't wait. It's going to be fun uh, watching you guys out there tomorrow. So good luck to you. Thank you. Thanks.